It's an interesting question. I wonder if the topics can get any more customer centric than they have already been. For, for, for us, we're all about the customer centricity and offering customers the services that they need. Um, and that's a theme that you saw last year, you see it again this year, but I think it's worth to talk about. Um, and I think that's still the most interesting aspect of this, giving customers choice. So Divido is a point of sale finance platform. So we offer customers the ability to pay monthly at the point of sale. So it's a great way to spread the cost. So if you're a retailer, that's obviously a great way to offer customers the choice of choosing whether you want to pay upfront in full today or prefer to pay over a period of time. So for me, the whole idea about customer centricity kind of resonates really well with our core value proposition, which is about choice. So we are showcasing our end-to-end -end loan origination platform. So it's a platform that we give to retailers and we give to lenders. They can brand the whole experience them there as if it's their own and they can take this out to their consumers or end users effectively. So today when customers go to pay, most times they're only offered to pay upfront in full. So whether that's a debit card or credit card, maybe PayPal, Amazon Pay or something. So what we are offering customers is the ability to pay monthly. So they get the product or service right away, we get the money to the retailer right away in full, but the customer starts paying a month after and then every month for a fixed period of time. And very often it's interest free even. So there's no application fee for the customer, no monthly fee for the customer. Even if they want to pay back early, there's no penalty to pay back early and there's no interest rate on, on that. So it's a really good way for customers to be afford to, to give customers the ability to buy things that they're we're planning on saving up to and then buying, or maybe that premium model that they, they didn't think they could afford, but now with this flexible payment plan, they can. So that is for me what customer centricity means, to give customers choice, in this case, when it comes to payments. I think uh, one of the main challenges is uh, people's um, bandwidth and resources, sort of what, what people can actually do in a short period of time. So we work with a lot of uh, financial services uh, institutions like um, banks and PSPs and so on. And they tend to move a lot slower than we are able to move. So having the runway or the stamina to keep, keep up with that is probably one of the biggest uh, challenges that we have. Well, I think, again, going back to my original point about focusing on the customer, to really listen to the customer and not to have preconceived ideas of what customers want and, and don't want, but rather give them all the options and let them vote with their feet. If they don't like it, they won't use it, but unless you give it to them, you'll never find out if this is something they like. So, for example, again, going back to our proposition, retailers that start to use Divido, they can attract more customers, they can broaden the addressable market by making payments more flexible. They can also increase average order values, increase conversion rates. And again, if they hadn't tried working with Divido, their retailers would never have found that out. So keeping an open mind and focusing on customer, I think will continue to be the, the ongoing trend for the foreseeable future.